Hello everyone and welcome to our last video of this series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restrict access to the admin screen of the app if the current user is not an admin. So let's get started. First, we have this list called employee admin. Let me show you. Let's go to the list settings. And we have two columns. The rest are just the default columns, but we have this field role and username. I'm using field and column synonymously. So in our role field, we have, it's a choice field with admin and manager. And your app can have many roles and you can add that in there. And today we're only going to be dealing with the admin portion. And then we have our other field, which is a username. And it's a person or group field and it has all of these different properties that and we can grab some of these properties and use them in our power apps so let's go ahead and let's go to our power apps in our power apps we're going to go to the app object and in our app object we want to add some formulas now when the user comes in what our app needs to do is it needs to go to this list and check this list to see if the current user logged into the app if they are a part of this list because this is going to help us with our security um so let's do that let's create a global variable first set set and we're going to say current user user so we're basically grabbing the current user and this field this is a an actual function of power apps and it has certain three fields if you do a dot email full name and image is what you can use now let's go and create another global variable is user admin variable and what this is going to capture is um what is gonna, what's going to happen here is we're going to go to this list as I mentioned before and see if there's a user. So um, if it matches the current user. So we're going to say, we're going to do a lookup. There's a function called lookup. And we're going to be looking up into the employee admin list. And we're checking if username. And we're talking about this field username. If username and the property that we want is email so if you scroll in here email and we're seeing if this is equal to the current user's email so current user <clears throat> email okay and two ampersands and if um the role in Row value, role dot value. So basically, this here, if it's equal to admin, and then we're going to close that out. But we're not done because what this does is this lookup, it just returns a record. And what we want to add in here is a Boolean. We want this to be true or false. So, what we got to add now is another function to wrap this lookup. Now this function is going to check the lookup to see if it's blank. So is blank. Let's add. If it's blank, um, it's going to be true. And if, if it is not blank, it's going to be false. And that's what we're going to dump in here. And that's what we're going to use um, to show and hide stuff. So let's come in here. Let's add this label to the page. We're going to come here and we're going to say is user admin right now it says false right false let's come here let's look at this so this is return blank and it's saying is this is if this is blank really it's supposed to be true let's see if we need a refresh there you go. We have to um, do it on start. So, is this lookup blank? True. Right? And it's going to put true in here. And what we want to do is now we want to use this. We want to use it. 
So let's see how we can use it. We're going to come over here. Let's come to this icon. Scroll down. Oops, got an extra button in there. So we're going to do this. And we're going to say, let's go to the visible property, visible. And we're going to add this in there. So this is making this true. So because it's true, we don't want the user to see our all this stuff here. So let's see what happens if we, let's say we go in here and, and we add a user. Let's lift this up. Is this true? Okay, false. See, so now it's false. So now, because I am an admin, it turns it off for me. So now, what we want to do is let's change this to. Um, we're gonna come here. Take that. The text we're going to add here is um, you do, oops, sorry, you do not have access to this app. Okay. And we're going to say this like this, right? Twenty-five. Let's do this and let's make it red, and then let's center it, and then we're going to come down to the visible. There you go. And really, we want. Okay, let's let's um. Let's delete user. Let's make everything show. So let's come over here. And so what we want to do is reorder and bring to front. Ooh. That is ugly. So what I'm going to do now is, because I can barely see that. So what I want to do is, you see this gallery here? Now that you understand, see this gallery? We're going to select the gallery, see? Gallery. And we're going to come to the visible property and we're going to add that is user admin. Okay? So for this though, we don't want this to show. So we're going to flip it to false. And how do you make it, how do you make true opposite? You're going to come over here, exclamation mark. So now that's gone. And you can do the same thing to all this up here if you wanted to. Um, you can hide, you can hide everything. So I think you have the, you get the idea. So let me come back over here. Let me add myself and see what happens. Let's add the role admin. Okay. So now let's come over here. As you can see, all that, that's gone because I'm an admin now. I'm an admin. So I hope that makes sense. Let me do a very quick recap. In our, we have our list. We have these fields we created. We have username personal group field, role, uh, manager, admin, and depending on the role, you can have things. So for example, manager, if you don't want the manager to see these columns, you can just come in here and you can go to the visible column and um, you can just create another formula called is manager and it'll be role.value equal to manager. And then you can use that 
to hide certain fields or to make certain fields disabled if you want. So a quick recap, we have our list, we grab the current user, and then we have this lookup, a combination of the lookup formula and the is blank. And based on this condition, it return a value of true or false. And then we use this Boolean for our visible property to hide the gallery. So see here, we had to flip it because um, visible is true. And if you flip it at a at an estimation mark, it becomes false. So, meaning that we don't want this to be visible if the current user has a record in here. So I hope that made sense. Leave me comments below, like the video and share it. Um, and maybe in some other, we, we, I'm gonna, even though this series is done, I'm gonna come back into the same app from time to time and just add certain things just to teach certain um, concepts. So um, if there's something that you would like to know how to do certain things in this, in this particular app, just let me know. Um, thanks, enjoy, and thanks for sticking with me through the series. Bye.